Don't forget who I am. Don't forget what I am. I am a black dude. <laughs> and don't ever forget how I got here. My ancestors were kidnapped. I don't even know where the fuck I'm from. They were put on the bottom of boats. They sailed them across the Atlantic. Many of them died. Only the strongest survived. And once they got here, they beat the humanity out of my people. They turned us into beasts of burdens. They made us do their work. And the irony is, hundreds of years later, they called us lazy. We fought in the Civil War. We damn near freed ourselves. Then in Reconstruction, black people did great. My great-grandfather was a very wealthy man. But then the black coats came. Jim Crow came. And it was a hundred years of unspeakable oppression again. Lynchings, all kinds of terroristic acts to keep us in the margins of society. And yet we still fought. And Dr. King was born. And then things got better. 20 years after Dr. King was assassinated, Michael Jackson was moonwalking on television. Something, something, something. Barack Obama. <laughs> Donald Trump, and now here we all are. 400 year nightmare. It took us 400 years to figure out as a people that white people's weakness the whole time was kneeling during their national anthem. <laughs> That's a brittle spirit. That's right, nigga. On the rock, it's regular. Ah! Ah! The vice president of the United States got involved. Mike Pence got involved. He went to the game himself. These niggers will have to stand when they sit down. <laughs> and all them football players looked up in the stands and saw Mike Pence and said, Mike Pence, come on, y'all. Wu-Tang, bow! I can kill every white person in America at one time. You know how I'd do it? I would just wait for the Super Bowl. And right when they sang the national anthem, I'd have O.J. Simpson walk to the 50-yard line with them bad knees. Is that O.J. Simpson on the field? What the hell is he doing here? Oh, I know what he's gonna do. Stop him! 